Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Vivian. I do all kinds of videos on fashion, hauls, beauty, tutorials, vlogs, lifestyle stuff. If you're interested in any of those things, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I have the little fella today. Say hi. Hi, I know. Oh, you give kisses? Oh, that's so nice. This is Elvis. He's my little French bulldog. And for those of you that are new to my channel, today is exciting. It is my trunk club unboxing and try on video. What I have been doing is I already opened up the box and tried everything on so I can give you guys a review right up front and let you know what everything is. Don't forget to check the description box below. I'm going to have everything linked for you guys um, and also my referral link for trunk club, Stitch Fix, Wannable, all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of info down below. I also have a few coupon codes that you guys might want to check out, especially now for the holidays. So don't forget to check that out. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. This was a super interesting trunk. I did ask my stylist Emily for some holiday wear. Um, I do have a couple, you know, like Christmas, like office parties, holiday gatherings and things like that. And I thought, why not get something a little bit new? Um, I asked for a red dress. She came through three red dress options. Amazing. So let's just go ahead and show you guys what I got in my holiday trunk club. The first thing I got is a pair of Paige Denim Black Ultra Skinny Jeans by Transcend. And these were $179. So here they are. Just a very simple, clean line, skinny black jean, super soft. Um, this type of jean or this style from Paige is supposed to like not stretch out and stay like the same size. Unfortunately, um, I think it runs a little bit small for me. Also, I think I've put on a couple pounds because of Thanksgiving. Thank you very much. Um, so these were very, very tight and I really don't need, if you guys have seen my other videos, I really do not need any black jeans right now. I have like four pairs, so I am good in the black jean department. By the way, if you are new, at the end of my video, I will write in exactly what I decided to keep and what I paid for the items so that you're not left hanging as to what it is that I decided to keep. Don't forget to leave me a comment below and let me know what you guys thought. I'm gonna be trying everything on right here next to me helps me to see things a little bit clearer the first one is from lush and it's this top right here definitely holiday wear with all the sparkles and the bow and the ruching and the cinched waist and the v-neck on both sides just got a lot going on here you know, um, it really fit me well overall i mean this is a size small um but it was just really, really cropped. I have it on, as you can see, with a um, little cami underneath because that would just be way too cropped for me. I wouldn't be comfortable wearing it. And I don't know if this is necessarily my style. Let me know what you guys think. It looks a little old for me, which is weird. I just kind of like a simple, casual, pretty style. So that's kind of like what I like. And I think this is just a little too much. Metallic tie front top by Lush in the color silver in a size small. This, the price on it is $49. Vince Camuto, which I love the Vince Camuto brand. Um, it's just a simple like kind of tunicky crew neck um, blouse with a very large bell sleeve or trumpet sleeve maybe they call it. I'm not quite sure. Um, I don't necessarily mind this sleeve. I don't have anything like this. It's never really been my thing. Um, this blouse was super comfortable, so I don't necessarily mind it. It's got a lot of like gold, kind of sparkly, um, you know, kind of glitter looking uh, throughout the front and the same in the back. This does run large because this is an extra small. And as you can see, it's quite loose fitting on me. So if you are a very petite person and you like this, I would definitely size down because it definitely runs big. Sparkly a bell sleeve sweater by Vince Camuto, size extra small in the color white. And the price is $99. So also the price is just a little higher than I really want to pay right now for a just a simple kind of like sweater top. Um, so I probably will end up passing, but again, stay tuned till the end and you'll find out exactly what I decided to keep. Okay. So the next top right here, I was a little surprised. Um, I was surprised at a couple things. This is by BP, which is kind of like a youth juniors section. In my opinion, I do love a lot of things BP though. Don't get me wrong. I wear a lot of things BP, even though I'm fashion over 40 over here, but this seemed a little old 
I don't know, I think it's more just the pattern. Not necessarily the style with all these ruffles and things. I'm not a big fan of ruffles, especially not on the shoulder. I could handle kind of this sort of thing going on here in the sleeve, but this is just not my thing. Um, also, I think it was a little cropped for me, a little too short, very transparent. You would have to wear a cami underneath or a like a really pretty black bralette or something like that would be really nice. Ruffled sheer striped blouse by BP in a size small in the color green. And the price isn't bad, it's $49. So for a holiday wear, like you could just throw it on with any pair of black slacks or pants or leggings and some boots, I think it'd be cute, but just not my style. Okay, now on to the three red dresses that she sent me. Um, I was really, really impressed with the fact that she could find three red dresses. Okay, so this is the off-the-shoulder dress in a size small by Charles Henry in the color Garnet. And this is $88. So as you can see um, for me trying it on here next to me, it isn't off the shoulder. But I did quick put it on over the shoulder. And I think it would stay. Um, I'm not much for off the shoulder especially now um, come winter time it just seems like a lot of hassle and fuss for me and I am again just I want comfortable simple classic sleek pretty you know I just don't want to mess with the off the shoulder or the bra situation I did wear a strapless um, nude bra for all three of these red dresses and it worked fine um, I just don't know that I want to deal with it and then the coat over top of the off the shoulder that I have to wear it's just I, too much hassle for okay, me. Okay, so it's 95% polyester, 5% spandex, um, and the lining is 100% polyester. So not a lot of give, um, but I just think it's just a simple, you know, like straight line, you know, dress. I think it's pretty fit fine. It's comfortable for the most part. I just don't think I want an off the shoulder right now for winter. And I have to pay. So the second red dress option <laughs> is right here. And again, a lot going on with the sleeve. It's pretty. Um, again, fit comfortably. I think it was a good size. I think it's a perfect length for me. I love the v-neck here. I like the simplicity of the remainder of the dress. I just don't think I like all this hassle here with the sleeve. I like that it has a little bit of interesting detail on it. Don't get me wrong. Ruffle sleeve woven dress by Charles Henry in a size small in the color garnet and this one is $98. So I think it's a good price. I just don't know that I want this much going on. I don't know if I like this bubble sleeve at the end. I don't know. I just don't know if it's a, if it's like necessarily my style. Blouse on sleeve dress by Vince Camuto in the color crimson and it's in a size small and the price is $119 not horrible for a holiday dress and I think you would get a lot of use out of it. Um, I like the more simpleness of it. I like the simpleness of the sleeve and so forth. It would have been not off the shoulder because this one you can't wear like by putting it up on the shoulder. If it weren't off the shoulder I think this one would probably be my favorite and probably the best option. I just don't think it's something I'm going to wear and I'm going to enjoy wearing. Um, it does have inside of here kind of like a, um, not, I don't want to say sticky, but it's it helps it stay on. So I don't think it would move too much. I just think it'd be just too much of a pain. I really wish it was not off the shoulder and I think this would probably have been the right dress for me because the rest of it is just super simple. Um, it fits nice, it flows nice. Um, it is lined um, and it's lined with a more of a like a knit stretchy material which I like versus the polyester so um, I don't know again let me know what you guys think of all three dresses let me know which one is your favorite if any at all or if you think it should just be a pass the things I got was this pair of earrings from Kendra Scott I love the Kendra Scott brand I love most of her jewelry um, unfortunately these earrings were a little off for me I don't like the color so much of the stone um, I think it's pretty for now for the holidays and semi precious stone drop earrings by Kendra Scott in silver and they're $65 so a little bit pricey I don't necessarily think I need them right now like a greenish um, I mean the light it kind of changes to like a dark green light green kind of like a has even some red tones in it but not I don't think I really necessarily like the styles okay so along with the rest of the holiday wear I did get a pair of holiday shoes I call these my Cinderella shoes I 
Do you see why? <laughs> I love to be trendy and I like to wear really pretty things, but these are probably a bit much for me and knowing the fact that I'll probably go to like maybe two or three holiday parties, these I will never wear. I mean, I just wouldn't ever wear these. They're cool concept, Michael Kors, you know, obviously always makes something very like in your face and very trendy. I don't necessarily like the MK um, splattered all over everything, you know, but they're just not my style. They're not super uncomfortable. I wore them for maybe 15 minutes and I wasn't ready to kill myself, so <laughs> they weren't so bad. The Abbey Flex Pump by Michael Coors in silver, size 7, and these are $98.95. So surprisingly under $100, not too bad for a very fancy shoe. Um, I think it's kind of like a even like a Christian Louboutin type of knockoff. Let me know what you guys think of my Cinderella shoes. Okay, and the last item is a pair of Vince Camuto boots. Very trendy. Um, that is what they look like. Um, the hardware is two-tone, so we've got silver out here. I don't know if you can see that. And then like a gold um, for the second part of the hardware, and then silver on the grommets right there. So very cool detail. Um, there's the back. The heel is nice and big and chunky, so it's not super uncomfortable. The way it's slanted is a little bit uncomfortable, but that's just for me and my foot. It's just a good suede. The heel is also all suede lined. Um, that is the bottom. I think you could be pretty stable in these. Um, very trendy, very pretty. Um, I think they're a really cool boot. The Dame Ferris or Dama Ferris, I'm not sure how to say that. Buckle strap booty by Vince Camuto, size 7 in a color black, and the price is $158.94. So definitely not cheap, um, but again, at the end of the video, you guys will see what I decided to keep, if anything. Definitely she hit the mark on holiday wear, I'd have to say, for sure. So that's pretty cool. Good, definitely A for effort, definitely a thumbs up for me for trying to get me some holiday wear. I just don't know that it hit the mark in terms of my style and what looks good on me and so forth, but you guys let me know what you think. Definitely leave me comments down below on this one. I need to know your opinions. Give me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video. Thanks for watching guys, bye.